Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 here, and I have a quick video that I'm going to shoot for you today of uh, actually an unboxing, as probably you can see from the title above me. And as you've known for a long time, I'm sure, you've known this little tripod right here. It's actually sitting right on the side of my desk along with my uh, um, MXL microphone right here. And uh, actually, this is the tripod I've always used to kind of shoot the uh, reviews and stand it up and shoot my iPhone and iPad when I'm doing some demos and stuff. But the problem is it's always back here. It's always set up like this because it's kind of hardwired into my setup right now. As you can see, a lot of messy cables and stuff. And it's always holding my um, Sony um, HC3. So basically what I needed was another option so I wouldn't have to break this thing down to film the, you know, basically the unboxings and everything because this would always be a mess. I'd always have to break this down, do everything. Long story short, I needed another option and guess what? I just got it, as you guys can see right here. I've actually ordered a brand new kind of like tripod kit, I guess you could say. And a lot of you may know this brand. It's actually a somewhat professional brand. It's Manifrotto, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's actually a company that's made in Italy. And this is the Manifrotto Classic 055XB tripod in black. And it also comes with one more package, as you can see right down here, which is a smaller one that's actually the tripod. But this is actually the fluid head that it comes with, which is the 128 RC micro fluid heads. So I'm very excited to do this unboxing for you guys. I hear this is a really good tripod. I actually used to use a tripod like this back in high school and I do a lot of video production and stuff uh, for my high school way back in the day but I figured I really wanted to get a more professional tripod. That Sony one that I had really wasn't working out and I'm talking a lot in this intro so I really don't want to keep talking. How about this? Let's just break into the boxes and get this thing going. So starting off first with the 128RC microfluid head for this tripod. Now of course it comes in a smaller box, so we're just going to kind of flip it open. This should be a very simple unboxing, obviously just because it's going to come uh, with the actual uh, fluid head and the uh, handle that goes with it. So anyways, first thing I see as I open up, I see is the documentation that comes with it. Very, very simple. Actually, that was, I believe it's like Chinese or Japanese or something. But anyways, it just pretty much gives you simple um, step by step instructions, actually how to install it. So nothing really all that great there. I'll read up on that uh, a little bit later. And it's also got a general instructions and warranty information guide as well that comes with it. So a little bit more to come with the uh, actual head itself, which is quite nice. This is the actual handle. It feels really, really light. It actually has this nice little grip here on the bottom that you'll actually be able to use for when you actually put it into your uh, fluid head and onto the tripod mount. And of course, we have this little guy right here, which is the actual head itself. And just kind of on first unwrap, I can feel that this is very, very sturdy. It is actually a metal fluid head which is very nice a lot of the other ones also are plastic so it's very nice to see that this is actually a solid metal head that I can see right here and like I said this is why I need a tripod because I'm filming this freehanded <laughs> but anyways this is what it looks like there's where the actual um, handle goes for the tripod mount right up over here if you can see where my finger is pointing uh, this will actually uh, float back and forth and like I said, this is really hard to give a demo one-handed. Uh, pretty much says the brand of it right there, the uh, 128RC. And right there it says it's made in Italy, so it's kind of what I was uh, touting at the beginning. And there's the actual plate where the uh, actual camera would snap into the tripod mount here right in the head. So anyways, this is about it for the head. Let's actually get into the actual tripod itself now. So now it is time to actually unbox the whole Manifoto tripod itself, the 055XB. So this is the actual tripod itself with the leg and the adjustments and everything so it's gonna be quite nice to actually open this up and see what's going on so if we just flip this open we should see yeah, right on the top there is a piece of styrofoam so we're gonna set that off to the side we can actually see the whole tripod itself right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick lift this out and get right back to you guys and upon lifting out the tripod, as you guys can see, there's not really much more left in the box. It's actually all in this little bag right here. So upon first glance of actually unbagging this thing, as you guys can see, I'm kind of sliding the wrapper all the way down. Uh, it, it feels very, very sturdy, as I can see right here. I'm just going to try and... Of course, that's not going to work with one hand, right? So I'll get the bag off. You guys can see this is kind of what it looks like right here. I've noticed that it is really, really tough. I mean, these things, I mean, I don't even have them clicked into place yet, but these things are super solid. A lot more solid than my older tripod right over there that I just showed you guys. So I believe this is going to be a great addition tripod just on first glance. But of course, it did come with a little bit something extra, just like the other piece did, the fluid head. Um, came with a Manifoto image guide, and of course, there's general instructions and warranty, and you flip it over, you have the Manifoto. Manifrotto um, tripod, it says it right there, also has the instructions, has the two models that are actually supported, mine of course is the 055XB, but anyways, getting on from that, here's actually what it looks like from the top, just kind of doing a quick pan and scale around and I'll make sure to do a uh, 
quick little kind of uh, 360 or half 60 or whatever the case is uh, once I do get it all shown to you guys. It also, also does come with this little info tag kind of around the neck of the tripod right here as you guys can see attached with that string. And just kind of on further zoom, uh, you can see right here that it basically says 055X Classic Tripod. Keep moving down the documentation. It says SLR, SLR with long lens and medium format cameras. So kind of like the one I have right here with my Canon Vixia would work out just fine. And it just kind of has some of the simple positions of the tripod and kind of how high they stand. Like 24 inches is the basic, what it's at right now. Um, really wide uh, spread out shots, uh, hall shots as well, 70.1 inches, uh, 5 pounds which is actually I believe what you can put on top of this camera uh, for the actual you know size of the cameras that you can use I do believe it was a little bit more uh, for the average and then of course the max that you'd be able to put on is almost 15.5 pounds 15.4 pounds and then of course it just says Matafrodo at the bottom and if I flip this open it just it says a few more things it kind of gives that's why I zoom out right here. It just says basically the classic tripod at the top. Kind of gives you all the different parts of the tripod as it's labeling them there with the numbers. Nothing too fancy. And if you just flip it around to the back, it just says uh, take it, take the challenge. And it kind of gives you a nice little um, nice little saying on the back there. I won't read that for you guys. And then it just says dealer, and I'm guessing for dealer notes. If I had bought this through a dealership, they would probably put some notes on there. But anyways, that's just a quick overview of what the tripod actually looks like. And like I said, it feels really strong. This part can actually come up with this extra attachment right here to actually put it higher, which is quite nice. Uh, my old tripod never could get really that high. This one can get over 70 inches tall, which is going to be quite nice for those high shots, especially when I'm doing some off-the-site filming, you know, for maybe events or something like that so that would be quite nice I just want to get the fluid head attached and I'll see if I can show you guys how to do that I'll be right back so as you guys can see I just uh, kind of just set up this tripod right here right now just to give you guys a quick demonstration uh, kind of in this small uh, secure area up in the room here uh, but I just want to give you guys a quick feel kind of what it looks like so as you guys can see this is actually a very robust tripod it's very professional it's so fluid as I just move this handle around and it doesn't move at all I mean if you try and shake this thing you can see it is so solid and pretty much my main thing about my other one was is that it was so flimsy every time I try to move it you could just see it almost jerk and this has such a counterweight to it and it's got such a smooth flowing head right here that it just it basically flows as nicely as you can imagine and of course this is kind of the overall look of the tripod here I won't go too in depth but it's just because I don't have much room here but as you can see you can lock it at a few different positions right here and I'll save this for the review when I do do it uh, like I said you can undo this right here so you can actually put this up lock into place if you need to get those higher shots so that is quite nice also, when you're looking at it from this side, you can actually see uh, where the actual handle goes into here. And as you guys can see right up here on the top, this is actually the little release lever uh, for actually releasing this. So you can lock into place with just this simple little switch right here. And then you just flip it right out. You can actually unlock it. This pops right out. You put your camera right on that. Put your camera right back in, and you can lock it right back into position when you're putting it down. Boom, you're all set to go. And you just lock that back into place, you're all set. So like I said, I'm very impressed with this tripod on first glance. Uh, you can actually tighten these up for uh, heavier cameras if you would like. You can lighten them, you can tighten them. And it kind of says right there, right in the front, the little Manifrotto 128RC. Of course, that's the fluid head on this tripod. But overall, I am very impressed with this, and I'm hoping to actually get a little bit more use out of it as the coming days go by. Uh, my brother's actually graduating from high school uh, this Sunday, so I'll actually be able to get a good use out of it there. So anyway, Anyway guys, that's going to about do it for the unboxing and the quick overview of the Manafrotto 055 XB tripod, uh, one of their classic tripods in their line along with the 128 RC micro fluid head on this guy. And of course if you guys have any comments or suggestions or just questions in general about the unboxing of this tripod, I'm going to be sure to try and cover everything that I've learned about it. I don't know too much about tripods, I'm not a tripod expert. Everything that I've learned about it in the review in the coming weeks. So I will make sure to do that. I'm going to be filming my brother's graduation from high school this Sunday, so I will get a chance to actually use this guy out along with my Canon Vixia that I have in my hands right now. So it should be a pretty good test. But like I said, please leave your comments below and I will try 
try to answer them if uh, they happen to be questions or good comments or just saying, hey, I like the video. I appreciate that always. Also, I will leave the link for this guy in the description so you guys can check it out on Amazon's website. It will run you back about $235 with free shipping right now at this time of this video. So if you guys like to check that out, again, it will be in the link in the description below. Also, feel free if you like this video to check all, all my other videos. They're actually on my YouTube channel as well. I do a lot of great tech content, reviews, unboxings, kind of like this of this tripod, and I can't wait to start using it because I really needed this upgrade. But anyways, guys, please feel free to leave your questions and comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one till then, guys.